Whoa. From the base model XLs, to the top of the line Platinums. The Ford F-150 aims to please everyone, and it has dominated the truck market for decades, becoming the best-selling vehicle in all of the US, on average selling two trucks every single minute. Your average F-150 is going to put in the work in the family farm or in a fleet destined for a job site, but not the trucks we're gonna talk about today, Oh no. In this video, I'm gonna unmask some of the rowdiest and rarest F-150s ever. And if you're new here, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Otherwise, it's great to see you guys again. Let's go. If you really want the baddest F-150 in the world, you gotta call Hennessy. These are the guys that stuff horsepower into anything American. And the craziest thing to come out of their shop is the Velociraptor 6x6. Okay, the boys at Hennessy must have read my mind, cause that thing, who doesn't want one of these things? And it's only a phone call away, because Hennessy for $350, thousand dollars will make you a 600 horsepower velociraptor 6x6 now that is a lot of money but the biggest price you're gonna pay is the fact that you probably can't park this thing anywhere it is that huge and trust me nine out of ten women say that size doesn't matter but well it does and hennessy gets that and just because it's too big to park doesn't mean your boy brad danger doesn't want one this monstrosity was built to take on the mercedes g63 amg 6x6 and that vehicle is made for people with more money than sense but i'm not gonna lie the velociraptor doesn't really make a lot of sense either and the way that hennessy built this truck is they took a stock ford cut it up lifted it an inch and a half added eight inches of length and oh uh, they also added another axle. And the 600 horsepower beast hits 60 miles an hour in an impressive 4.9 seconds. And get this, for all those Evo and STI fanboys, well, it's actually faster than a stock WRX or Evo. And it weighs nearly three tons. So this is definitely Fatty McGee. And remember that G63 6x6 we were talking about earlier? That does zero to 60 in almost double the amount of time. And it gets an abysmal 13 miles to the gallon. The Velociraptor gets 15 if you can drive it in the city and 18 on the highway. So it actually beats it at the pump as well. And that Benz, well, it costs over $500,000 new. Yeah, over half a million bucks. And the Velociraptor is 70% that price and pretty much double the truck in my mind. So it's way more epic and it's even more epic. My buddy Post Malone has one. All I gotta say is congratulations. God, I don't know what I did with the money for my singing lessons. Now, the sad part is they only made 50 of these things worldwide. So yeah, probably we'll never see one. And if you ever do see one on the used market, well, you should use the ideal car strategies to snag it because I think it's an incredible investment opportunity. But I'm sure that you hear Velociraptor and you instantly think of the next truck on this list. The Special Vehicle Team, or SVT for short, built on the already capable F-150 chassis and turned it into an off-road beast. It's got a wider track mated to knobby off-road tires and that in-your-face bodywork lets everyone know on the road that you mean business. Heck, even the truck's namesake, Raptor, which is a nod to the totally badass dinosaur, the Velociraptor, means this rig is ready to fly! Now, that is a little extreme, and yeah, maybe it will buff out. But the Raptor does have premium Fox Racing shocks with 11 plus inches of suspension travel. Plus, we all love those good old American V8s and the 6.2 liter pumps out 411 horses, and that's gonna be pretty much more than any of your stable mates. Now, you could get the 5.4 liter in 2010, but that thing is littered with problems. Like, more problems than your ex-girlfriend had. Get yourself the 6.2 and thank me later. Let's recap, it's badass, they pretty much all come fully loaded, and it will take anything, and I mean anything, that you can throw at it. Well, almost. <laughs> And the fact that you can snag these for roughly 20,000 bucks means it's depreciated over half of its original $45,000 plus MSRP, which is awesome, but I gotta be honest, the front end of the Gen 1 Raptor just, it, it looks a little dated. And the Gen 2 not only looks way more contemporary, but it's also boosted. Boosted. Boop, 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 boop. 
Yep, this baddie is powered by a twin turbo EcoBoost V6 pushing out 450 horsepower and 510 foot pounds of torque. And all this is pew, 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 pew through a paddle shifting 10 speed automatic transmission. Yeah, straight up a gear for every day of the week, plus, well, a couple extras. My math is right. And did you know that the legendary EcoBoost motor was so good that they actually used the base for this legendary car, the new Ford GT, which means this thing is straight badass. Like, no, you look up badass in the dictionary and the Gen 2 Raptor is right there. Because just like the Ford GT is king of the track, the Ford Raptor is the king of the trail. See, the second gen Raptor really shines in the desert. It just loves the sand. And I got a question for you. Have you ever heard of the Baja 1000? Well, if you have, go join the Ideal Fam by snagging some Ideal Swag. And if you haven't, well, go snag some Ideal Swag and join the fam as well. But in 2017, the Ford Raptor with minimal modifications came third in its class that year. And then after that truck placed on the podium, the team drove that truck home. It's just that Good. Even stock with its insane 13.9 inches of travel, provided by the guys over at Fox Racing. The Raptor is a hardcore trail assault vehicle able to take massive hits at speed. What's that saying? Win on Sunday? Sell on Monday? Well, let's just say if it's good enough to compete with the best of the best at the Baja, it's good enough for you and me. Or wait, you and me? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, the fact that prices are holding around 40 grand means that you too could take the long way home from work and tear up the trails, baby. But I hear you guys asking, what if you wanna devour the competition on the road? The F-150 has the answer for that too. The Lightning. Whoa. This thing is not just a flash in the pants. The insane Lightning came with a supercharged V8 pushing out 380 ponies and a top speed of 147 miles per hour. And you know what that means? That means that this is the fastest production truck in the world at the time. And with all that power and no weight over the rear axles, it's pretty much a burnout machine. Man, do I love the sound of an all-American supercharged V8. And with just a simple pulley swap and a tune, you're able to hang with some modern heavy hitters. Stock, it does zero to 60 in an impressive 5.2 seconds, which ain't bad, especially for a 20 year old truck. And you know it was just an instant classic and a legend because Paul Walker drove it in the Fast and Furious series. And if you wanna go see another car that Paul drove, go check out this previous video about Paul's pristine R34 GTR. <sighs> I want one. Okay, I get it. It almost seems too good to be true. An all-American bald eagle spittin' supercharged V8 that was driven in one of the greatest movies of all time. It must cost an arm and a leg, but today they can be picked up for a hair over 10K. And I know you're probably not asking, but that is a bargain if you ask me. And I bet you've heard the saying that lightning can't strike the same place twice. Well, it did it Ford, yep. That's right, Ford gave us the Lightning twice for a production run of nine years. The Lightning was a special project built and designed by the people at SVT by taking the standard Ford truck and preparing it for the racetrack. Legend has it they took some of the parts off the old Cobra Mustangs and GT40s and slapped it all together in an F-150 body. Then out of nowhere, Lightning struck and that was the moment when the Ford SVT Lightning was born. This badass truck was what America didn't even know they needed until they saw it. Unveiling it for the 45th anniversary of the Ford F-Series in 1993 with modified suspension and a rowdy 5.8 liter V8, it was faster around the track than the Mustang GT. Times were definitely changing in Dearborn because now you didn't need to tow your race car to the track because your truck was now your race car. Ford took just over 10,000 of these to market and they were available in any color you wanted as long as that color was either red or black or well if you waited until 1994 you could also get the truck in white. But if your favorite color is yellow which I have a feeling it might be then the F-150 Tonka edition might be for you. If you're like me some of your fondest childhood memories involve playing in the sandbox with Tonka trucks. Now what if I told you you could get a life-size Tonka truck? Yep. It's true. Ford sent over a handful of their trucks to the people at Tuscany Motor Company to convert their regular F-150s into life-size Tonka trucks. And man, did they knock this one out of the park. 
Powering this beast is a 700 horsepower Shelby supercharged V8. Yes, that's right. Shelby threw in a supercharger supplying power to rival Hellcats. Also, the standard F-150 gets lifted six inches and gets fitted with knobby tires. So not only can it blow the doors off of any Mustang, but it can tackle any terrain you throw at it. Unfortunately, like anything nice, it comes at a pretty penny. From the factory, these trucks cost a whopping $96,000. But thanks to our good friend depreciation, these bad boys can be found for around 20 large if you can find one. With the collectability of these things, don't expect the value to go any lower, so it's probably a good time to buy. But if you're a value shopper, then this next truck is for you. Coming up on the turn of the century in NASCAR's 50th, 50th anniversary, Ford and NASCAR got together to create this special truck. Made to look like a NASCAR truck, it's lowered an inch and sits on NASCAR style wheels. The standard truck was styled by Roush, distinguishing itself by a special NASCAR graphic on the bedsides and a mighty 4.6 liter V8 powering the rear wheels. Man, just listen to that beauty. <laughs> Oh, and you also had the option to opt for a five-speed manual transmission. Fifth. Unfortunately, the reason you probably have never heard of this truck is because it was only offered by Ford dealers in the southeast part of the US. And if you want a little piece of NASCAR history, you can snag one of these for around $5,000. Now, that is a steal if you ask me. But if you fancy a Celine, then this next truck is for you. Yeah, that's right. The people that made the Celine S7, one of the most beautiful cars ever made, and also these extremely high-powered Mustangs, yep, they also built a Ford F-150. They took some of their go-fast parts out of their inventory and stuffed it into America's best-selling vehicle. When Steve Celine and his boys got a hold of the F-150s, they actually raised the truck two inches to fit those beautiful 23-inch chrome wheels. And it also gave them enough clearance for that sick body kit. If you ask me, it looks like the F-150 was dropped on top of a Celine S7. And that's a good thing. The truck was also fitted with stickier tires and beefier sway bars to make it corner like a sports car. And if you're like me, I remember racing that thing in Forza. And man, it was a beast. From the factory, these things were right around 60K. But again, thanks to depreciation, these things can be had for under 30 grand today. And I mean, why, why wouldn't you want one? The S331 was given the nickname Thunder because of the thunderous noise coming out of those side pipes. And of course, it paid homage to the Ford Lightning. And 10 years after the Ford Lightning ended production in 2004, Ford offered a new sport truck designed in-house for the 2014 model year called the Tremor. It's powered by a twin-turbo EcoBoost 3.5 liter V6, which came optional on many other models of the F-150. But what set this thing apart was the shorter gear ratios for that quick get up and go. These trucks were manufactured in the lightest and nimblest single cab short bed configurations. So instead of stuffing a big, heavy, powerful V8, they put an unchanged 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 in it and let the lightness do the work. <laughs> Just under 15 grand, you could pick this one up with just 51,000 miles. Talk about an ideal deal. And with black wheels and a stripe package, you'll be looking like the king of the road. Now, what is the ideal truck on this list? As much as I want to pilot the Velociraptor 6x6, well, realistically, I can't afford a $350,000 truck. So that's out of the question. But I could see the benefits of a second gen Lightning on the street. And I think out of all these trucks on this list, dollar for dollar, the second gen Lightning is the one that I would buy and have a blast with for 12 to 18 months. But which one is best? You're gonna have to tell me. Let me know down in the comments. And is there an F-150 truck that I missed? Let us know. And check out the other videos that we have here at Ideal Media. Smash the subscribe button. And if you liked the video, hit the like button. And as always, keep living that ideal lifestyle.